In an earlier video, we have seen what are minimum spanning trees. So minimum spanning tree is a spanning tree that has the minimum weight among all possible spanning trees. So given a graph G, so this is a spanning tree of the graph which is having the minimum weight amongst all the possible spanning trees. We also know that this minimum spanning tree, the number of vertices will be equal to the number of vertices in the graph. Also the number of edges will be equal to the number of vertices minus 1. Moreover, there cannot be any cycle in this MST. So let's take a look at the Prim's algorithm which is used to find a minimum spanning tree. Again, it is a greedy algorithm just like the Kriskal's algorithm that we discussed in the previous lecture. So we start by selecting an arbitrary vertex and add it to the MST. Now we will repeatedly check for the minimum edge weight that connects this vertex of the MST to another vertex that is not yet in the MST. And this process will be continued until all vertices are included in the MST. Let's take a look at the pseudocode. So given a graph G with a set of vertices V and of set of edges. So initially our MST is null. Now we will initialize a priority Q, Q, which will store candidate edges. Candidate edges means the one, the edges that can be now added to the MST. How we will choose these candidate edges that we will see. So we will start with any random vertex which we will choose from this set of vertices. So let's say we have chosen this vertex U, we will add this to the MST. Now all the edges that are connected to this start vertex will be added to Q which is our Q. Now Till the time the MST does not contain all the vertices because the MST has to have all the vertices of the input graph. So till the time MST does not contain all the vertices, we will do these steps. First we will choose the minimum weight edge UV from Q. So whatever our candidate edges are there in Q, we will select the edge with the minimum weight. Now this edge uv will be connected to our start vertex and then another vertex v. If v is not in MST, we will add this edge uv to the MST and also add the vertex v to the MST and now all the edges which are connected to this new vertex that has been added to MST, those edges will now be added to our priority queue. So after we have done this for all the vertices, now we are going to return our MST. Let's take an example to discuss this. So let's say this is our input graph and now we will start with choosing any random vertex from this graph. If, the, if it is given that you have to start with this vertex, then you can start with that one. Otherwise, you can take any random vertex. In our example, we are taking this vertex A. We also see that this graph is having number of vertices is 6. So in our final MST also, it will have 6 vertices and the number of edges will be 6 minus 1, which is 5. So we have started with this vertex randomly chosen A. Now what we have to do is we have to add all the edges which are connected to this vertex to the priority queue. So this is the edge and this is the edge which will be added to the priority queue. So now we see, look at these edges in the priority queue and now we choose that edge which has the minimum weight. So we see that this edge AB is having the minimum weight. So we will add the edge and also this vertex B to our spanning tree. So this is our new spanning tree now. If we have added this vertex B now, we have to update the priority queue with all edges connected to B. Since AB is already added, so we are not considering this. This has been taken out of the queue and all the edges now in the priority queue will be this edge AF which is connected to A. 
this edge connected to B, this edge connected to B and this edge also connected to B. So all of these edges are now in the priority queue. Out of these, now we have to choose an edge with minimum weight. So we see that BC, BE and AF, all of these three are having minimum weight. Also we see that the vertices to which they are connected, C, E and F, they are not in the MST. So we can choose either of these three. So let's say we randomly choose this edge AF. So now we have chosen AF and added it to the MST. Since F is a new vertex that has been added, we will update our priority queue by connecting all the edges connected to F. These were already there in the priority queue. Now we have added this edge also to the queue. If we check which is the edge with minimum weight, we see BC and BE. Also C and E are not in the priority, not in the MST, so we can choose either of these two edges. So let's say we choose edge BC. So now we have added BC also to our MST and updated the priority queue with edges connected to C. So now we are having these four edges from which we have to choose. We see that the edge with the minimum weight is this edge CE. So we add CE and vertex E to our MST. Also we have to update the queue now with this new edge connected to E which is DE. So we have these edges BE, CD, FE and DE in our queue. If we look at these four edges, we see that there are two edges with minimum weight. One is CD, one is BE. We can choose either of these two. If we choose BE, that is an edge between B and E, both these vertices are already there in the MST. And if we choose this edge, this will cause a cycle. That means we cannot choose this edge because MST cannot have any cycle. So we have to choose that edge whose vertices are not, the new vertex is not there in the MST. So we will choose CD because this vertex D is a new vertex. So by choosing CD now we can add vertex D and this completes our MST because now all the vertices of the input graph are now present in the MST. Also we see that the number of edges are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the number of edges are 5 on all the vertices of the input graph are present. Also we see that there are no cycles in the graph. So every time we choose an edge from the queue we have to make sure that, that for that edge there is one vertex which is not there in the graph, otherwise it will cause a cycle. So this is how the PRIMS algorithm works to help us find the minimum spanning tree.